Hello everyone, Fru here. Welcome to today's relevant read. So guys, in today's read, we're going to be looking at this very fascinating article that talks about the free, proven 30, 60 day, 90 day plan uh, template for job interviews. Guys, so this is, you know, uh, this article is really coming at something that I've really, 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 really haven't seen a lot of people or few people even talking about it from a career perspective as a career tool right so this is your uh, 30 60 90 day plan template for job interviews all right guys if you've used this before in a job interview or uh, you know this plan guys i want to know right please go in the comment section below and share it share your idea share your experience but you know this is something powerful i came across the read for my good friend byron that produces a lot of great content around uh, uh jobs and career uh, I think that this is really a very relevant read and what for us sharing and having a conversation around. All right, guys. So on this channel, we talk about uh, career, uh, tech tips and inspiration so you can have uh, or live the best uh, personal and professional life. And this is one of them. This is one of them. If you are going through a job interview process, your job hunting uh, or you're looking for jobs or you just are advising somebody or you just want to stay on top of that game because at some point in the future you might eventually look for jobs guys this is something that you want to definitely consider uh, paying attention to all right the free 30 60 day uh, 90 day plan uh, template for job interviews guys before we go into this we uh we all know that you know in business right if you're in business you're starting a, a company a startup what a lot of people always talk about is you know what is your business plan show me your business plan right and that's just like a that's a norm it's like basic information that everybody should be aware of a business plan for people who start businesses but when we, when it comes to job interviews and career it's just surprising to me at least to me that a lot of people don't have this conversation right a lot of people don't talk about this and uh, and that's why this article was particularly refreshing that you know job interviews are important careers are important and it's really about time we start having treating it as such right and that involves you know having a plan and not just a plan for uh for the job interview itself but a plan that will show success when you event when you land the job and you get into that company and if you're kind of the candidate that can come into the interview and you you're already talking about how success will look like 30 60 days 90 days into the job guys this is something that will set you miles and miles and miles apart from the competition and you would find yourself uh being sought after because guys you're not just coming for the job you're coming with a plan and you know and you know the as a hiring manager, if I was a hiring manager, well, this gets me excited. I can look at your plan and I can see, well, does it align? And we already have something to start with, right? And that could really give you a, a leg up. So this is going to be a great, great video, guys. Make sure make sure that you follow uh, very closely with what we're going to talk about uh, as well. But before we look at the, the content of the article itself, I want to share this picture on the screen. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I hope it's clear uh, from the screen. Uh, and what it talks about, uh, it's not quite clear when I zoom in, but I hope it's clear to you guys. And I'll read it. It talks about, um, uh, it's a quote from uh, Dwayne, uh, Dwight Eisenhower, right? One of the presidents of the United States, the former presidents of the United States. What it says was, you know, no battle uh, was ever won according to plan, but no battle was ever won without one, right? No battle was ever won according to plan, but no battle was ever won without one. So plans are essential. Another variation of a quote, I think from a different individual says, right, uh, uh, you know, planning to, uh, uh, failing to plan is planning to fail, right? So failing to plan is planning to fail. So there are a lot of things about planning. Planning is just essential, right? And so when we're thinking about your career and the job process, right, this is why the 30, 60, day, 90 day plan is a very crucial asset uh, to have. All right. So guys the link to this article will be in the description if you are thinking about employing this as part of your strategy uh, for your job interview process again check out this link go to the article itself the, go to the article directly read the article uh, make sure you follow uh, byron uh, and then check out the links that he provides guys i, I just think that this is and I, I i wish more people would see and and, and employ this this the, the concepts within this article guys because it's just that powerful all right so what it does is if 
first of all it talks about how to create the plan and i'll let you read that for yourself right you know uh what to write about your 90 day uh, business plan so you're actually treating this as a business guys you're gonna come into the company what are you gonna do the first 90 days what are you gonna accomplish in the first in the first 60 days uh or the first 30 days first 60 days first 90 days which is about three months or so guys you really want to be able to talk about the things that you'll be able to hit off the uh uh, uh out the park and and the things that you've achieved and as such all right very very powerful first 30 days usually this is your probation period you're learning a lot you're training and you're doing all of that guys you want to highlight that and make sure that you account account for that within your plan all right the next 30 days in the company you're not just there to win win things right and this is really true for roles that are a little bit more senior right because if you're in the junior roles you come in they just tell you everything to do and you're just simply following you know steps and procedures and day-to-day -day tasks given to you by senior people but if you're looking at more senior roles and like leads and managerial or just uh, any form of a senior role where you expect it to come up with original ideas and solve problems and be self-driven by yourself guys this is crucial it's indispensable it's um it's just amazing you need this guys you need this i can't state how important it is right so if, if you are uh, uh you know senior uh talking about senior uh, developers senior engineer architect you know lead you know managers directors vp cios and above you need this and even for entry levels too you you know you we need this right i don't want to uh, take that off of the take you guys off the hook or, or, or let me not say take you guys i don't want to take that uh that side of the hook right even entry levels you still need a plan right it might be a little bit different but you still need a plan so uh, next 30 days should focus on uh, on how you learn to improve by doing right so first first 30 days is your learning and training and you really want to focus on that so you learn and train the company the culture the processes the systems names their lingua how the core things all procedures and everything that is within that company that's what you really want to be learning industries and, and things like that all right so you know how you learn the company uh, structure their services you know hierarchy names of people you know department heads and such all those things employee booklet all those things are things that you're trying to figure out right because you want to know this at the beginning if you don't learn this and master this at the beginning and you know six months down the line and you, you don't know what the company's products and services are that is bad it's so bad it's unacceptable all right now when your next 30 days so this is putting us at 60 days you really want to focus on you know now you've learned you want to start you know talking about improving things right what are you going to do to start improving things right because now your probation period is kind of you know you've kind of gone through that first 30 days you've known a lot of things now you can start uh uh receiving feedback and you know using that using that to come up with ideas on on how to improve things all right and you can go ahead and read that now then we'll go into the final 30 days so this is the 30 days that takes us to the 90 days of the 90 days plan and in this final 30 days guys you really want to build on what you've done before all right so by this time ideally you've uh, learned a lot right you've learned the company's processes and systems uh you've gotten all of that figured that out uh you've also gone through the process of of starting to improve things so just bear with me here for a second um now in this final one you want to show uh the interviewer that you're ready for everything that you've learned and to be able to work independently so your plan should accommodate for this all right so uh you can still talk about getting feedback and then being able to work independently because first 30 days people are going to be teaching you holding your hands and asking questions you know by the time you start getting to this you know final 30 days now you're gonna have to be independent you're gonna have to answer questions by yourself if a support ticket is coming you should know the processes on how to resolve that you should be able to think independently work as an independent contributor and add value instead of just being dependent all right and so this is where uh where this uh, uh piece comes uh, into place all right guys so this is very powerful and you know because these are goals these are plans there's always this idea of smart goals right very very known uh, known uh, worldwide um in many circles right specific measurable actionable uh, achievable relevant and time bound so you, you don't want to just set the goal of i would i would uh for example i will learn the ticketing system for example that's just uh vague and no time bound right you know how long would it take you to learn the ticketing system 
right you can say well within the next within the first four weeks i want to learn and be proficient in ticketing systems how to create tickets uh, receive issues resolve them and, and such right and so by being specific right measurable and achievable and something that you can achieve uh then you know that's that's uh that's a good goal right if your goal is to increase the company's revenue and make the stock the stock double in the stock market and your job is you know being a dba that's not realistic right because a dba just being a dba how are you gonna make the company stock double in the stock market all right guys it's not realistic it doesn't make any sense you don't want to be setting those kind of goals right all right so that's something that you just have at the back of your mind so you can go ahead and read uh read through what it talks about you can make your your, your plan in a microsoft word uh, in the google document uh, or you can use canva but but guys one of the things that i wanted to call out is that uh, byron actually gives us an example of what it looks like you know i l always look like examples whether you're working on your resume you're working on the cover letter right you're working on a business proposal whatever it is guys if you can have an example or templates that you can take and you can customize and you can emulate it usually makes the job a lot lot easy so in this case we have an example here yeah in this example it talks about it breaks it down six, uh, 0 to 30 30 to 60 60 to 90 all right so in this one we see that in the 30 day plan so just bear with me here to get a quick sip in the 30 day plan we're talking about learning the, about the company right and you can customize this for your own situation right and this is a plan that as you're working for as, as you're going through the interview process you can have this available with your resume so you talk about your resume your cover letter and now you have your plan guys it changes the game right because 80 percent of or 90 percent of people are going to come in without the plan and you are coming in with the resume cover letter plus a plan to be successful in the job guys you read this is i can't emphasize how powerful this can be right i haven't used it personally but after discovering this this is something that i'll definitely definitely bookmark and be considering uh into my future uh, uh career uh, uh you know options all right so you definitely want to pay attention to this one so 30 days learn about the company's entire product offering study the competitors right review training manuals listen so if let's say you're in sales or something like that right you want to list uh, uh listen to at least four four sales calls per week learn industry terminology meet with supervisor at the end of each week and, and such right so like for example this one says listen to at least four sales calls it doesn't say listen to sales calls right how many sales calls are you listening to at least four how long does it take you to listen to at least four is it going to take you one year one month five days one hour to listen to four sales calls? no at least four per week right so it's, it's smart specific measurable achievable uh realistic I believe it's realistic, relevant and time bound, right? So this uh, that's kind of a smart goal, and then there is a, the the score and uh, you know personal goal, right? So this one is like the learning goal, performance goal, personal goal. So you can have them in different kind of categories. Now going to thirty to sixty day plan, I like how the template also articulates that, right? Continue listening to the sales calls, right? Maybe your goal is you know to be a sales manager and you want to listen to those calls to see how people or the, uh, the employees are working there and you can start understanding the processes and challenges that way uh once you eventually start building your team uh, bear with me guys for a second here all right got the call so so that way once you eventually start leading your team uh you do have uh some understanding of what exactly they do and be able to help with that all right so and then talks about taking one free uh, LinkedIn training, whatever it is your, your, your learning goals are, you, because at this point, you're really focusing on learning. You want to learn as much as possible, right? And then it goes to your perf your performance goals. So this is things that are tied directly to your job, right? Conduct a minimum of, of 12 sales call per day, convert one sales call per week to a customer. And if you're in sales, that could be that, right? If you're in technology, big data, machine learning, AI, IoT, whatever it is, your goals might be a little bit different, right? Maybe that could be uh, getting access to the source control or Git or being able to check in one code or be able to fix one bug, right? Or to deploy one production model, whatever it is, one production machine learning model, whatever it is, guys, you can set those goals right and then you have those personal goals i like the personal goals here right a lot of people don't talk about it but these are goals that are personal 
but it still relates to your job right like have at least two lunches with supervisors or team leaders right this is not just lunch because you want to have fun right this is lunch because you're building rapport you're meeting with your team leader and right and it's all overall helping you to be successful uh within the role now we'll go into the 90 days right so at this point you see learning goals don't they don't uh disappear or but they've reduced a little bit right because by this time you've learned a lot now uh you just want to have that continuous learning but at the same time now your performance goal are really reinforced here right so now you want to conduct a minimum of 25 hour bounces score again if you're in sales you'll be different if you're just in technology and it programming web development app development you know front end back end full stack uh, as such right so you really want to emphasize those here come up with about four or five of them right and then your performance go join the gym <laughs> and go every monday wednesday friday for one hour guys you might say but why is this one here right well maybe because if you join the gym and go every monday wednesday friday for one hour it helps you mentally and if you're mentally strong you can make good calls or you can write better code or you can you know be a better team player or, or team member all right so uh, th those goals are very powerful and this is a good template that uh was shared all right guys so now the question is when is the best time to show your interviewer your 90 day plan assuming that you come up with one you know as you sit down mention that you brought it by saying something like oh by the way i put together a 90 day uh, plan demonstrating some of the ideas i had for what i could accomplish uh in the first uh three months of the role in the role whenever you think it fits well into the conversation i'd love to show you some of what i was thinking so this is great because you you mentioned that you have something to just demonstrate it and you're giving them the option that you know whenever it fits you will show them and if they decide that it doesn't fit they don't show it but if they say oh that's exciting sure you know uh once you talk to the hiring manager or once you talk to hr after that would like to see it or whatever time they feel like it's appropriate they will let you know and then you can bring that plan at that time all right guys i, I think that this is really a very good thing to mention in here as well so very 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 powerful i i was really excited to come across this uh, i'm sure you can tell uh from from my excitement about this to come across this particular article as one of the relevant reads from a career perspective it's not a lot of people talk about this i haven't seen a lot of uh of, of content around this and i'm really excited that byron was able to share this so guys check it out check it out along with the template provided there is really no excuse not to try it out right what what's the worst that can happen that you, you you customize this you try it out and it doesn't work right uh that's the worst but what's the best that can happen it works it makes you stand out and you land a, your dream job so what's there to lose guys so make sure guys make sure make sure make sure uh you you, you read this you get the nuggets you check out the links and you try it out right it might really be a great opportunity to help you uh, in your next career and or to be more successful during the job interview process all right guys thanks again for watching i think we've come to the end of uh, this particular article review i really appreciate you sticking with us through this i know it's a little bit of a longer video but very very important uh nonetheless so guys please please share this article or share this the link to this video to somebody that might be in the interview process they're looking for a job they're going through uh a, a transition guys this might be valuable to somebody guys so make sure if you like it make sure you share it to somebody and we really really appreciate that if you haven't subscribed guys please also subscribe to the channel and if you have any ideas or topics or articles that you want us to review and to talk about guys please leave them in the comment section below or message me or or however you want to communicate that and we'll be sure to uh to consider that uh for our future videos thanks again guys for watching i will see you in the next video